Welcome to Socorro Tutorials. And in today's video, I will show you how we can uh, download uh, Codex Africa a data set. Of course, Codex uh, data set is uh, freely available uh, and it has like the historical uh, climate variables and the future projections. So simply after opening our browser, we can write Codex. Uh, Cordex Africa here. Uh, of course, we can add Cordex Africa data and we can go here, uh, Cordex uh, Africa data set. And after going here, uh, we can see uh, how the domain is, is set up over here. And of course, there are different uh, regional uh, smaller domain and you can uh, investigate it into here and how domain is set up is also there then we go further here like the website uh, codex africa we click there and then after moving forward we can uh, go here how to download from uh, esgf or you can directly write ESGF Codex uh, download at the first place, or you can come here and you can uh, go here. And here, different websites by the different institutes or, or countries providing this data set. Uh, like the, uh, this website is uh, by Sweden and the other website by uh, Germany or UK. And uh, for my case, it's easier uh, to go here, the uh, RKZ data set. And then after we going here, uh, we can go uh, down uh, somewhere here, codex, uh, and we can find a codex here. Uh, then we can come to this, uh, this point. So here uh, we have like here plus sign and as we click on plus sign, we're going to see uh, inside different uh, data set like codex uh, corrected for uh, Biasis is there and the raw codex data set is there. Uh, for today's video, we can go for like raw or codex data set and we're going to click on here. Then uh, after this uh, product is normally total output. We did not do anything over there. Then domain, we are going for uh, Africa uh, for now, but there are like domain, for example, uh, EUR is European a domain and other domains are there actually, Asian domain and Australia, AUS and Arctic ARC is there, but we are uh, for this video interested for uh, Africa. Then after doing that, we're going to go search normally. Then as we search, it shows us the result here and we continue uh, like uh, going the other, uh, actually uh, setting, subsetting our data. Here are the models. Uh, different models, which are uh, actually basically contributed by uh, different institutes. Uh, this institute, one of this institute is from, from Germany here, a uh, Max Planck Institute, which is well-known uh, an institute in the globe. And the other is, this one is from Netherlands and others are also there from uh, different countries. A contributor. For this case, we are not selecting particular uh, an institute, but we can go here, like which uh, global uh, circulation model is contributed to uh, this particular regional uh, simulation. We might select like the uh, European uh, medium range weather forecasting era interim uh, as a driver here. A, and it's also one of the European based and well known uh, uh, model system. Then, experiment, uh, we are now only downloading the RCPs. RCPs are like the uh, representative concentration pathways. Uh, 
Of course, uh, in many papers, you can see that RCP 4.5 and 8.5 are the common ones. 8.5 is high emission scenario and 4.5 is medium emission scenario. And you can also click on a historic data set, actually how historically it looks like and how uh, RCP shows us only the future, uh, future uh, projection, but historical uh, data uh, set or historic shows us the past uh, trends of the different variables that we are interested in. So we can select these things and we can uh, continue. So here searching. Uh, and then we follow like searching the other now RCP and driver model is already there. Uh, then uh, we can go to to the experiment. Okay, I can go like reset back and uh, I can do it uh, from the beginning in that case. And the products, I can do nothing. And here I can do this one. Uh, for each, uh, in this case, I have to maybe do this thing. Here, uh, I need to go for particular model. Uh, I leave uh, at that case, maybe the drive model because only like these models are available. If I let it as it is, it can uh, also goes. I can go to the scenarios here. And uh, these are uh, okay, of course, two scenarios. Uh, and uh, family, I cannot do anything here. And for example, in most papers, uh, is used like R1, I1, P1 uh, sample. There are three uh, three sample uh, roots here. So we can use only one of uh, these, or if you are interested, you can use the three of them. Then a uh, regional model uh, here, in this case, we have only one model available, which is Remo. Uh, German based uh, model and then uh, we can go like time now we are interested daily daily data then we go to search uh, daily and then uh, finally we're going to select which variable we are interested we are interested in uh, precipitation of course you can see like a list of variables a uh, and a uh, task maximum maximum temperature and minimum temperature and others if they are necessary you can go uh, for others as well uh, so now i completed uh, selecting this thing if we are interested long name of the variables for example like uh, precipitation is there daily maximum near surface temperature a daily minimum, they are already by default uh, provided here. If you are interested in, you can uh, select them as well. And uh, here is uh, like the standard uh, standard names. Uh, it's, it's by default like that, and you can uh, leave it as it is, or if you are interested in, you can uh, actually select this, a, boxes otherwise you can now we have uh, proceed uh, to the uh, downloading uh, you can see here for example if you are interested you can go here metadata metadata is like the description what is is then and every actually details and how it is then and for uh, like from where to where data is available and the unit of data and everything is provided here. Then uh, if you would like to see a list of these files, you can go here. Uh, 
uh, you can click like a list of these. We can hide that one and we can go here and list of, of files. You can see the list of files there. If you would like to see more, you can go like here and show more files. And then uh, if you are interested directly download from here, you can click one of, of these links. If, if you want to click and if you see any Evernet CDF file as it is and click there, you can go here. It's going to give us like different a different, uh, uh, I mean, different window. It will open on different tab and we can go and we can see here and we can, the good thing is here is that we can see also the size of each each file. And like size of each file here for, for precipitation is like 244.7 megabytes each. And uh, like if we download many files, is size going to be like uh, maybe more than three or four GB in this case. Uh, for only, uh, we are looking only like in this case, 8.5 for this time period, like from uh, 20, uh, 2006 to oh, 200, uh, 2100 normally. That is the projection available. And if you are interested, for example, to download one of these files, the each file it consists five years. Uh, for example, this file consists from 2076 to 2080. Uh, 76 is included here and uh, five years are included as one of the net CDF file. So if we are interested to download this file, we go here and as we click here, we can uh, go like with another uh, pop-up window and then we're going to click here. Uh, as we click here, if you are once signed in, normally the server, you directly go to like the, like as I do now, to the download normally directly to download otherwise you're going to have uh, here what one thing i would like to show you here marcos is already signed in that's why i directly jump into downloading otherwise you have to register here and you have to have one account normally then you have to log into this server before downloading one uh, particular any 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 file then after complete uh, downloading this file of course you can continue with with other files uh, you can open with other windows and you can continue with like downloading the other files i can come open with other other window here and i do the same thing for that particular file and i'm going to go like other file also it's better to open with other window here also as a window and then I click here, uh, I click here and it directly go take me like to download. I will show you like this is started completely downloading now. Then once it is started downloading, I'm going to please click on like I'm going to delete that uh, tab, not to get confused with many uh, uh, new tabs. Then I'm going to click the same thing here. Yeah, it's started downloading. Once it is started, I'm going to delete that one and I go, I do the same thing for uh, all uh, files. Then after I complete uh, normally downloading each file, how I'm going to process in R for a particular area for uh, like either for the watershed or for the region, any region in like in case of Ethiopia for Amar region, for Omea region, for any uh, region of interest or for any 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 watershed or any steady area. Uh, as I have like uh, the latitude and longitude po points or the box of latitude and longitude. So for that particular box, how I can process these files and how I can extract from these files to the simplest form. Uh, this is NetCDF file. NetCDF file is not 
easy to process, but in R, we can uh, process them easily and we can get into the file format that we are uh, interested in, like Excel file or any other file uh, formats. Uh, so therefore, this is uh, all for today. In next video, I will show you how we can process these uh, the files that we have downloaded now to uh, Excel format normally in uh, our studio. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and please subscribe, follow and share uh, my channel.